Hello, I'm Pastor Joe, and I want to welcome you to Two Minute Tuesdays Together. Today, we're going to continue the conversation we've been in uh, about the Reformation as we look at Huldrych Zwingli. Last week, we began looking at some of the key figures and leaders in the Reformation, and we began with the father of the Reformation, Martin Luther. Well, today we're going to take a look at someone who is considered to be the father of the Reformation in Switzerland, and that would be Huldrych Zwingli. So let's get two minutes on the clock, and let's go. Zwingli was the pastor of the Grusmunster in uh, Zurich, and it was there that he began to preach reform within the Catholic Church. Now, the Reformation in Switzerland really began in 1522 when Zwingli took a stand against fasting during Lent. He said, this fast has no grounding in Scripture, so therefore not to observe it uh, cannot be considered a sin. And his protest began as he cut and distributed uh, smoked sausage. And this became known as the Affair of the Sausages, and it really launched the, the Swiss Reformation. Now, other issues that he was passionate about was corruption uh, within the uh, the clergy. Uh, he also uh, felt strongly that clergy should be able to be married. In fact, he was secretly married in a public ceremony in uh, 1524 to a woman named Anna, and they went on to have four children. He also uh, was against using uh, uh, images during worship. Now, in 1529, um, Zwingli and Martin Luther got together, and they were not very close, and they had a lot of differences of opinion and theology, but they came to agreement on a lot of points within the Reformation theologically, except for the Lord's Supper. Luther felt that Christ was present within the elements, physically present, whereas Zwingli felt that Christ was uh, symbolically present, and they never could come to terms on that. Now, one of the things that Zwingli did was set up a reformed allegiance of, of cantons, which were kind of cities or, or uh, areas, uh, states within Switzerland. And that really divided Switzerland uh, along religious ground. You had those who remained loyal to the Catholic and those who were loyal to the Reformation. Uh, there was a war that almost came about in 1529, but that was averted. But then in 1531, uh, Zwingli and the Reformed Alliance uh, tried to do a food blockade. Now, this was unsuccessful, but in retaliation to that, the, the Catholic cantons, the Catholic regions, launched an attack, and on October 11th, 1531, Zwingli was killed in that attack. Well, I hope this gives you a little bit of insight into Zwingli and introduces you to him. Uh, I hope that you have found it informative and interesting. If you do, I hope that you'll hit like and I hope that you'll share this video. And of course, if you haven't, please subscribe to my channel.